it's been a while since I've done a video update, so I thought I'd update you on how the progress is coming. Uh, you can see it's printing the standard torture test. Um, the torture test is uh, one of these prints. It is made to uh, be difficult. This bridge here is well, supposed to be easy and these pillars will cause a lot of retraction. The walls here should be like different width and they should be fairly even. Uh, this print is in clean PLA and uh, this one is in Colorfab's PLA PHA combination. Uh, as you can see I have some ridges on this edge. I'm currently doing a test to see if uh, I can solve that. Uh, but apart from that, it is looking quite good. Uh, the reason I've... It's been a while since updates is that I've had a lot of these. Uh, I had so many problems extruding a proper uh, print completely. It's, it's uh, clogged in the extruder. And as you can see, I am now back to using the good old weights extruder. Um, but... Here is the direct extruder that I made myself that I was oh, quite proud of. Uh, but Sanjay, the guy that makes the E3D hot end, he pointed out that for a three millimeter uh, hot end or a three millimeter plastic, you will not be able to get enough push using one of these. Uh, the cool thing is, since this is make block, it was just a matter of refitting and putting this one back on. So it's, it's quite easy to swap between uh, extruder, extruders. Um, and I can leave everything below here just hanging. And while I'm showing this, um, I've gotten a new uh, hot end as well. I moved away from the E3D one and I've changed into the hexagon. I'll try the E3D uh, once again. Uh, as you can see, this has a massive fan blowing at it. Full 40 millimeter fan blowing across it just to make sure the transition is heated enough. And I've also gathered uh, a lot of the electronics on this small PCB, uh, just as a way of joining them and easily swapping them back and forth. Uh, there's even some LEDs beneath there. So this is the new hot end, and this is how the kit looks when you get it. It's it's much smaller than the E3D. Uh, that gives me another one and a half centimeters. So the printer can now go up to 35 centimeters height. Um, yeah, pretty cool. It's it's a full kit with uh, all the gear required, like uh, a small wrench there and uh, hex key and everything. Uh, just for the fun of it, here's a uh, here's, um, make block based extruder uh, using the MK8 dark pinch wheel. Um, to uh, open it up, you'll, it's really hard. You'll got this one pushing. So, everything, the only thing missing here is sort of, um, is sort of the guide that guides the filament down through here. Oh, it's so hard, I can't even push it under one hand. And you can see the gear. So it's a uh, 62 gear drive-in driven by a uh, 18 tooth gear, I think. So these are the beta gears that I was given from Makebot. And last part of the update. Um, I haven't actually fitted it yet. I have it here on a separate electronics from the printer, but just so I can show you that it's working. Um, First the full oil in screen. So next up I guess is implementing this. Um, I'll then uh, test some more materials actually. And I also have um, another extruder uh, coming. Uh, from the same guys that make the hexagon uh, hot end. 
Uh, it's the hot and it's it's the Bulldog XL extruder, and it should fit nicely onto the carriage. Uh, for now, it's a lot of tape, just holding things together. Of course, it's not well, kind of like I want it to be, but it was it was a quick solution just to make sure the things print nicely. And it is very nicely. Oh yeah, and uh, if the Bulldog XL extruder uh, works as intended, I'll get another one and make the thing dual plastic enabled. Oh yeah, and here's also another thing I've changed. Uh, I updated the build surface from being uh, aluminium to glass, and I also made the wooden part thinner, uh, just to save some weight. Oh, another thing, another thing. I also increased the width in between the rods uh, on the x-axis. That is true. Oh, uh, what else have we done? <laughs> oh yeah, another thing. I moved the uh, y-stepper so it's dead in the center of the axis. I also removed the 62 tooth gear and changed it into a uh, 20 tooth gear. Uh, that is the Thing I'm trying out to see if the increased precision will give me a better resolution. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all there is. Yeah. So it's very much alive, it's very much printing, and it's doing great. So just a few more experiments now, and I'm, uh, I'm quite happy. I'll, I'll complete the bill of materials. So, yeah. Bye bye.